in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a blank line journal. So as you can see here, this is the blank line uh, interior that I made. And this is an example that I want to show you on what we're going to create. Now, first, before we begin, we actually have to have a, a template for this uh, project. So there's this website called Tangent Templates. And it's a great website uh, because it actually helps you uh, get the, uh, the correct trim size. So uh, for this demonstration, I'm going to click uh, 6 by 9 And I'm going to do 100 pages for this demonstration. Now, I just want to mention for this website, I did put a link in the description below if you want to purchase this uh, software. And so select paper type. I'm going to do white. And I'm going to do no um, interior bleed. And I'm going to press continue. As you can see, there's a cover and there's an interior. You want to go to interior. And it's going to show up the uh, template on what it's going to look like. So I'm going to download this. All right. And another thing you want to know is actually look at the correct interior dimensions. So it's six by nine. And that's what I'm going to put uh, when I go into Canva. We're at the canva.com page and this is the main dashboard that you're going to see. So I'm going to create a new one. So I'm going to click on custom dimensions and it is six by nine and I'm going to create a new design. Now uh, this is the part where the, you're going to have a blank uh, canvas right here. So remember that download of the template. So we're going to actually drag that in there to the upload section. So this is what it's going to look like. This is the actual uh, trim size they're going to use. So from here on out, uh, you're going to have to just know that there are uh, this border right here where the red orangish color is. You do not want to pass that area. So um, obviously we don't want the interior to look like this. So this is just a template. We're going to actually uh, make, a, make it white. So we're going to put it with an element and we're going to use a square. And we're just going to adjust it to our liking. And then um, you can keep this color. You can do whatever color you want for the interior. But I'm just going to do white for this demonstration. Now a trick that I do is I still want to see the, uh, the template. So I'm going to just shrink that a little bit. Maybe around 70. Just so I can see if I'm not passing the red area. So here we go. I'm going to go to text now. And I'm just going to click on add a heading. And I'm just going to add lines. And now we have a line. So we're going to move, drag this up. And again, you want to be careful not to hit the orange uh, reddish area. So I'll just leave it right there. I'm going to copy and paste this. So if you're on your Mac, I uh, use Command and uh, C to copy it. And then, I, and then I'm going to use uh, Command V to paste it. So there you go, you got two right here. So I'm gonna do make another one. So you got a third one. You got a fourth one. So I'm just gonna finish this out and I will show you the finished result. All right, so I finished the blank line interior. I'm just gonna check to see if it's aligned properly. As you can see, it has all the lines that I need for a page. And I'm gonna bring the transparency to 100 and this is what it's gonna look like now we're not actually finished yet because this is only one page and I would like a hundred pages because that was my template so I'm just gonna click this uh, button right here where it looks like it has two papers so I'm just gonna click copy page and I'm gonna keep doing this until I get a hundred pages All right, I made 100 pages, so I'm gonna just check to see if all of them look good. So I'm gonna scroll back up. And it looks like I have everything. So the next thing you wanna do is actually download this. So on the right uh, top corner, you're gonna see download. I'm gonna click download. And you do not wanna do PNG. You actually wanna do PDF print because this is the highest quality and you want to make sure you do all the pages and you press download. 